Hi, it's me, Kimberly Gosney. Welcome to this episode of Making Us, where I'm here to help you DIY a website that you'll love. So today we are talking about a very special topic once again here at Making Us. We're talking about how to add a PDF to your WordPress.org website. That's right, how to take a PDF that you've created and add it to your website. I get asked how to do this all the time, so I thought why not put together a quick tutorial for you on how to make that happen. Because you know every time you're spending 15 minutes or less with me, you know that you are making headway towards a DIY website that you'll love. So let's hop on in and add a PDF to our website. Today, I am totally cheating here because my post for today is on how to add a PDF to your WordPress website. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that while I'm creating the content for today's blog post. So I feel like I'm multi-purposing here and I love it. So we're gonna talk about right now how to add a PDF to your site. So I'm gonna do a new post because I need a new post for today's blog post anyway, so why not? But you can also use this on a page on your website as well. So now I've got my new post, I'm gonna go ahead and give this post a name. So the next step that we're going to make right now is we're going to open up a new tab in our browser. I like to add the PDF to the media library before I start doing the stuff on the page. So to do that, we're just going to do File, New Tab, and that's, I'm using Chrome, but you just want to open up another tab. And now I'm going to go over to my site. Once your site is up, you're going to just hover over the name of your site and click on the word Dashboard. Once the dashboard opens up, you're just gonna hover over the word media and you're gonna click on add new. That's gonna take you right to the spot where you can upload your PDF file straight to your WordPress website. So I'm just gonna hit select file right here. Now all you've gotta do is find where you saved it on your computer, you're gonna find it, click on it, and that is gonna add it to your media library. Then when it pops up down here for you, go ahead and hit this edit button right here and copy the link that it gives you, this file URL. So if you click on this a couple of times, it's gonna highlight everything. You're gonna copy this link. So you wanna check to make sure that everything went okay by adding this file to your media library. So to do this part, you're gonna do file, new tab, and you're just gonna paste in that link and hit enter. And then you'll see your PDF document pop up on the screen for just your confirmation that everything worked well. So that's how it looks when it pops up in your browser window. So now you know that your PDF has been added and it looks great, it's all working perfectly. Now I'm gonna show you how to take what we just created and added to your site and put it on your post. So we're gonna come back over to our new post that we're working on or a new page of your website, wherever you want to add this PDF. The easiest way to do it is to type in a little sentence into your copy that says click here to grab your PDF. And once you do that, you would just highlight the words click here. You would click your little insert edit link button, paste in that big old long URL that you got from your media library, and then you're just gonna hit link options, open in a new tab. So when you hit update, that's going to add that PDF right there as a clickable link that they can click there and go straight to the PDF. There is another way that's a little bit prettier and more visually appealing, and that is to add an image and have the image be a picture of what it is that they're getting or doing, and then it takes them to that link. So for example, if you've written a PDF book, you could have a book cover image right here, and when they click that image, they see your PDF for your book pop up. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now and I've just created a really simple graphic for this in Adobe Illustrator and of course I have tutorials on that if you need help in the graphics department. But let's go ahead and I'm going to right here in this spot, I'm going to add a picture from my computer that's going to be my picture for this PDF. So here's my PDF here but I'm going to add a picture. So I'm going to hit upload files, select files, and I'm just going to find 
that picture in my media library. So here it is right here and I'm going to click it. The hardest part of all of this is figuring out where you've saved everything on your computer. That's always the hardest part. But anyway, here I go. I've got my image, how to add a PDF to your, what, and that is the wrong image. Dang it. Let me get the right image. Hang on one more second. So I'm going to do upload files, <laughs> select files. No matter how smooth you try to do these, sometimes you have the wrong one. Okay, so here we go. Grab your PDF. Whew feel so much better now. There we go. So now the right image will be here. It says grab your PDF here. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that into my post. You'll see that that image pops up. My mercy how big that image is. Okay, no one can miss that. No one can miss it. Like that is really super clear. <laughs> so now I'm going to click on this picture and I'm going to hit my little insert edit link button once again and I'm gonna to have to scroll down on the screen I bet because this new version of WordPress you don't see it always so here we go let's try that again uh, ba -da -ba. maybe it's scroll up bear with me we'll get there we'll get there there it is okay so I'm gonna click right here I'm gonna choose my insert edit link I'm gonna paste my link right in the box I'm gonna choose link options open link in a new tab and then I'm gonna hit update so that is how you would add a picture that someone can click on the picture and then get your PDF. So let's go ahead and I'm going to save this as a draft because I have so much more work to do on this post. But I want to show you what this looks like from the user perspective, like your visitor when they come here, what this looks like for them. So let's go ahead and view this. and it's getting ready to pop up, I promise. Okay, so here it is. And when they get to this page, they'd be able to click here to grab the PDF and boom, the PDF would open, right? Or they would also be able to come down, if you would rather do a picture, they could click the picture and then that would open up for them as well. So that is how you add a PDF to your WordPress website. So let me give you a few ways that this can be super, super helpful for you as you're, you know, tackling this DIY thing with your website. So ways that this can be super helpful, your freebie opt-ins. If you create a great freebie opt-in and it's a PDF style, style opt-in, they can do the click here to grab their PDF, or you can put a picture in there and they can grab that PDF that way. If you're making an ebook, that would be perfect because then they can just click on it and grab your ebook. So, so many ways that you can use this to help make life easier for your site visitors. So I hope that you've enjoyed this quick tutorial from me, Kimberly Gosney, and I hope to see you in Making Headway. You can come by and take a peek, come visit us at makingheadway.us. Thanks and have a great day. Bye!